This video is all about the biliary system, the structures that produce store and relief bile into our gut. To draw this out, we need to start with the organ that produces bile. Now, if you were thinking of an organ that sounds like gallbladder, then I'm afraid you need to think again, because although bile is stored in the gallbladder, it's actually made in the liver. Bile is a waste product of hepatic metabolism that contains various chemicals, but in particular, bilirubin and biliverdin, the product of red blood cell breakdown that give bile its characteristic greeny yellow colour. Bile from the liver is collected in small ducts known as the bile canaliculi. These come together to form left and right hepatic ducts in each half of the liver, before uniting and leaving the liver of the common hepatic duct. Once the bile is out of the liver, it needs to get into the gallbladder, and it does that by travelling along a tube known as the cystic duct. The cystic and common hepatic ducts then form a single common bile duct that drains into the second part of the duodenum. Here the bile can mix with semi-digested food inside the duct, helping to emulsify fat and neutralise acid. Now as you draw this, make sure to leave this section of the bile duct blank, because we need to add one more thing. Inside the loop of the duodenum, we'll find the head of the pancreas, with its tail heading off to the left. Inside that, we'll find a duct, the creatively titled pancreatic duct, that allows enzymes made by the pancreas to drain into the duct tube. Pancreatic duct joins our bile duct and forms a single structure known as the hepatopancreatic ampulla. Another name for this is the ampulla of Varta, which is way easier to remember, but only if you're a fan of the Lion King. You see, instead of singing Hatuna Matata, you can sing Ampulla of Varta. What a wonderful duct. Along this biliary tree will have a number of sphincters that control the flow of the various liquids. For example, the sphincter of the bile duct allow bile from the liver to collect and head up into the gallbladder via the cystic duct. The pancreatic sphincter controls the relief of pancreatic juices, and here in the ampulla, the sphincter of Odi ultimately controls the relief of bile and digestive juices into the duodenum. Obstructions in the biliary tree can prevent in a number of ways, depending on where they occur. The causes of these blockages can vary. The most common is gallstones inside the duct, but it may also be something outside of them, squeezing them shut, such as a pancreatic tumour. Let's imagine a patient with an obstruction here in the cystic duct. What symptoms will they have? Well, initially, the patient will suffer waves of pain after eating, as the gallbladder attempts to squeeze bile past the blockage and into the gut. This is known as biliary colic. If bile can't leave the gallbladder, it can become inflamed and sore, leading to a condition known as cholecystitis. Maybe the obstruction is in the common bile duct. Here, bile still can't leave the gallbladder, so they may have biliary colic or cholecystitis. But at this point, we're also blocking the flow of bile from the liver. With nowhere else to go, that bile backs up into the liver, the bilirubin builds up, and the patient will become jaundiced. In this case, we also have the problem that there's no bile mixing with the food. Bile normally helps to digest fat and neutralise acid, but also turns our stools brown. So without it, fat can pass through undigested, acid may damage the duodenum, and the patient will be left with pale, greasy stools. Finally, what about an obstruction here? Again, this still blocks the liver and the gallbladder, so we'll have the same symptoms as before. But now it's also blocking the pancreas. If those digestive juices are unable to leave the pancreas, they can start digesting the organ itself resulting in inflammation and pain. So that's a quick introduction to the biliary system, and some of the symptoms we can have if these structures become blocked. If you have any questions, please just get in touch. But otherwise, thank you for watching, take care, and good luck getting the Ampulla of Artisong out of your head.